Yo, what's up guys, it's me, it's me, it's NLT, back with episode 15 and show 16 of the NYCW series. We've reached 16 F plus popularity, so that's nice. We'll see how many fans we are expected to get, 298 people. As we kick things off with Kylie Ray rolling up Orange Cassidy in 11 away. In a 31 E plus, so not a good match, but not a bad match either. That could have been a lot worse. But that's how we open up the show. An interesting little match there. Orange Cassidy, man. Just like Kylie Ray, they've had a lot of matches here. They've had a few wins, they've had a few losses. They've not really been able to get much momentum going on. Actually, do anything of note. So maybe the upcoming King of New York tournament is a chance for them to change that. Is Jesus Christ. We then have a 21 E minus where Shazam McKenzie defeats Jake something in 858 by pinfall with a quick cradle. They really don't seem to click, so that's fun. And if you look here, Jake something dominated the match. He was all over her. Not in that way, but he beat the shit out of her and he just couldn't get the job done. He couldn't win. It's like, oh, poor lad. He's now 12 matches, 12 defeats. Ah, oh, poor Jake. Can we get a hashtag pray for Jake in the comments, please? As we then have a 58 C minus and a slightly better match, which sees Matt Cross defeat Andrew Everett in 1242 by pinfall with the death from above. Cross gets a 54 but seemed off his game. Everett with a 48 as we get the crowd buzzing. And Andrew Everett somehow improves in flying skills, despite that being seemingly impossible. But we then have a 45D where Chris Dickinson defeats Kip Sabian in 16-21 with a Liger Bomb. A good victory for Chris Dickinson there. And we've got two big stars there, Dickinson and Matt Cross. Two of our main event players who have both just won. And that that's a good it's a good time to start getting some more victories under your belt. Build momentum before the big tournament and speaking of which Chris Dickinson takes a microphone he says that Josh Briggs is days as champ are numbered because if Joey Janela doesn't finish his reign off then he'll do it himself and if everyone's wondering how are you going to get a title shot Chris I'm gonna get it because in two months time after the next show I will become the king of New York and there ain't a damn guy who can stop me. So 40D minus there is lovely to see. As we then have a 50D plus when I was semi main event of the evening. Tracy Williams defeats Matt Fitchett and Space Monkey in 1550. Hitting Space Monkey with a pile driver. Uh, Tracy with a 44, Monkey with a 40, Fitchett with a 50. And that grants Tracy Williams a shot at the heavyweight gold next month. Is then now a main event of 40 D minus Josh Briggs retains again for the tenth time, pinning Joey Janela in 1401 with the Maroon Five. Janela improves in performance skills, good on him because he only got a 30. Josh Briggs gets a 40, so he's now in that next territory. It's after the match, out comes Tracy Williams. The two stare each other down, no fighting, just staring like the end of a UFC press conference. 49 D plus there for that angle. Who do you think will win next month's main event, Williams or Briggs? Find out in the next episode. So we get a 43D, increasing our popularity in one region. Um, those are the guys we're going to praise, Briggs, Everett and Fitchett. We've praised Fitchett so much. There is the shield in quite the old picture there. But yeah, so who do you think is going to win next month between Briggs and Williams? And who do you think is going to win? The King of New York Tournament. Chris Dickinson's the first entrant. And he's got some alright momentum going now. Especially if he can win next month. We've got people like Matt Fitchett. Matt Cross. Space Monkey. Andrew Everett. Who if they are in that tournament. They've got to be outside favourites. But um. Dragon Gate's going to leave. Uh, Dragon Kid's going to leave Dragon Gate. Oh, Sammy Callahan and Pentagon Jr. Don't like each other anymore. Oh. What a shame. Uh, Tracy Williams has been offered a negotiation with AIW. Matt Cross has moved to Europe. So, 
Guess who's not winning the King of New York tournament, guys? <laughs> Great time in there, Matt. Just before big tournament. Cheers, you fucking beardy, legendary dickhead. But it's alright, guys. I think if we can't get Matt Cross, how about we bring someone else in? Maybe someone like Son of Havoc. He'd be really good, wouldn't he? But thank you for watching. Leave your predictions down below. And I hope to see you all in the next one. For the next show, surprisingly. Josh Briggs, Tracy Williams, it's NYCW 17.